So if you said silicone is what Kim Kardashian and Silicon Valley have in common, creative, but that's not where I'm going with this. Here's why. Because there's a difference between silicon, which is a 14th element on the periodic table, versus silicone, which is a synthetic substance that people use for many different things that you can figure out, but this isn't that video for it. Let me tell you why it's a waste of time for you to constantly compare your business to Silicon Valley and Kim Kardashian. You are guaranteed to be disappointed, 100% to be disappointed. Here's why. They're celebrities, they're on TV, magazines love writing about it, MSNBC News, MSN Money, all these channels love talking about companies in Silicon, they're going public, they're amazing, they're this, they're that, and so all these young entrepreneurs come and I say, oh my gosh, I wanna be like those guys, I wanna start a company, technology company out of Silicon Valley, but what they don't realize is the following, only 4% of Fortune 500 companies are based out of Silicon Valley. Only five and a half, six percent 6% of Forbes 400 richest people are based out of Silicon Valley. Only that much. Now watch this here. I want you to keep this in mind. When we're saying only five, only 6%. Stay here with me. Why should I not want to be like Silicon Valley or Kim Kardashian? Here's why. Number one, it's simply reality TV. Kim Kardashian's life is not real. It's reality TV to get millions of people to watch, not for you to say, I want to be Kim Kardashian one day, because it's not real. It's fake. Silicon Valley, it's fake. It's a small little bubble that they have. It's not real business. The way they run their businesses is not the way you run 99.9% .9 of businesses around the world, around the country. Number two, math never makes sense. How did Kim become famous? That's the question everybody asks. How did this company pay $20 billion to this business and this business only does $400 million a year of revenues. Why did Facebook pay so much money to Instagram? Instagram wasn't even making money. What happened there? The math doesn't make sense. So you're running a business, real legitimate business, that you can show math, it's different than Silicon Valley. Number three, you'll be disappointed if you compare 100% of the time. Well, when I look at Kim's life and I look at these people in Silicon Valley, their businesses are so amazing, I must be a terrible CEO or an entrepreneur or this or that, you're not. Listen, let me tell it to you in a completely different way. I'm here to tell you, I wanna, I wanna tell you this. The guy that's running a business, doing $17 million a year with his or her business, that she grew from zero to 17 million a year, she may be as good of a CEO as any of those CEOs in Silicon Valley. Yes, absolutely, why? Because in Silicon Valley, one can go raise money and get 10 million around one, 50 round two, 200 round three, and they bring the right people around. They had one great idea, it blows up, and then they say, this guy's the greatest CEO of all time. But the person doing $70 million, you may be a better CEO. You can't compare yourself on what Silicon Valley does. Next, uh, they live on an island of their own. It's a completely different island. They go in a completely different community. These guys grow up in a different school, college, environment, the restaurants, the place. They're in a completely different environment than you are, maybe out of Toledo, or maybe out of Duluth, or maybe out of you know, Austin, or Jacksonville, or some of these cities that you may be a part of, completely different life. Number, number five, few duplicatable habits. You know what's a duplicatable habit? What Sam Walton did is duplicatable. What Jeff Bezos did is duplicatable habits. What people take regular businesses and they build it into conglomerates, those are duplicatable habits that you could do. Here's why. Let me remind you of this. 60%, listen, warning sign, 60% of Fortune 500 companies from 1970 are no longer around today. Do you know what that means? Here's 500 companies. 300 of them, gone. Only 200 of them, are around from 1970. What does that mean to you? Huh. That means Silicon Valley may be nothing 40 years from now, and no one even talks about it except for textbooks in universities to say mistakes that were made or things they did right now. I'm not telling you they don't do a lot of things. I, lose a, I use a lot of their companies, and I invest into them. But to use your business on how they do it, don't forget that this can happen. If you go to a place that everybody goes to and it's already predictable, you're leaving all the other opportunities that no one is even paying attention to. Now, having said that, let me tell you a duplicatable way that you could do something to build your business, something that is completely different than this reality TV that they live in. Very simple. Typically, here's how somebody becomes an entrepreneur. They learn how to sell, they learn how to create because they shadow somebody. 
So I work under somebody, I'm like, man, this guy, this is how he sells, this is great, I can do this as well. Here's how he makes phone calls, I can do this as well. Dude, did you see what he said? I can do that as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to lie, I said, so they shadow someone. They see somebody design something, create something, they build this desk, they build this car, they build an engine, they build, man, I shadow him, I say, this is kinda cool, I can do this. Or they broker a product, they sell real estate, they sell insurance, they sell them as they're brokering somebody else's product that they didn't create themselves, but they learned how to broker that product. They do this for a while, then you save money. You save 10 grand, 20 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand, 200, 300, of your own money, in your pocket, because you did this for a couple years. Then you save your money, then you show proof that you know what you're doing in an industry, you become an expert, you and a group of people decide to start a business, and you own a piece of the company. You and the people that start a business together. Then you raise money, then you build your business, then you either sell it off or you keep growing your company. This, my friends, is duplicatable. This is reality TV. So in closing, if you compare your personal life to our friend Kim Kardashian, or if you run your business and you compare yourself to all the people in Silicon Valley, you are bound to be disappointed and discouraged with yourself. Focus on your game. Focus on the fundamentals. Focus on what works. Focus on growing your base, your business, your company, your life, your personal life. See what you can do to make that better. And believe me, a big victory could be around the corner for you as well if you do it right. If you got any questions, comments, thoughts, comment on the bottom. If you have any friends in Silicon Valley, be sure to share this video with them because I'm sure they're gonna love this video. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, sub here, join the notification squad by clicking on that alert button as well. Take care everybody, bye-bye.